What's going on guys, it's Markoshi here and we are back with another video. Uh, but before we get into it, I just wanted to wish everyone a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas and happy Kwanzaa and hope your Hanukkah was good and I hope everyone has a great New Year's. Um, I know that these times right now are pretty difficult uh, you know, for a lot of people, especially in New Brunswick with all these stupid restrictions going on. Uh, but we all have to stay safe. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I, I just talked to a few people who caught, who caught the, uh, the new variant, um, and I hope that they, uh, recover, uh, quickly. Anyways, our house is old. It was built in 1848, and I guess back in 1848, nobody had, nobody had clothing. Nobody had to. Nobody had the need to store their clothes in a room, like a closet. <laughs> Everybody was, I guess, using storage chests or steam trunks or armoires or whatever. But just for whatever reason, there was just no such thing as a closet. I don't know why. Our house has no closets. We needed to solve that problem and we did. But, as you guys know, uh, when we did renovations back in February, March, uh, we converted one bedroom into Jazz's home office. Well, we don't need that home office anymore because we've acquired office space uh, in Hillsborough. Jazz is really busy with her consulting. Uh, we're both running Fundy Undies out of this. I'm trying to book gigs, uh, like DJ gigs out of this office. So this office is being heavily utilized. Well, we have an empty room and Jazz decided to put her spin bike and her yoga mat in there. Well, now that my office stuff is also in this office, it's out of the sunroom. So we converted that into my boxing playground and Jazz uh, then put her spin bike and her yoga mat in there. So it's kind of an exercise room whenever we want to exercise. Let's get real, I'm still trying to lose weight, but that's neither here nor there right now. That's another video for another day. We wanted to turn that empty room into a walk-in closet. And Jazz, oh poor Jazz, she spent hours upon hours upon hours on the Ikea website, taking measurements, designing, and when we were ready to pull the trigger, once, you know, she, like once we made final decisions on everything, we went to the checkout and boom, 75% of the stuff was out of stock. You can blame COVID for that. You can blame a lot of things for that, but no matter what, we just weren't gonna get it because it's stuck somewhere in a sea can on the ocean and it sucks. Okay, supply chain is a problem everywhere right now for anything. So we went to Home Depot to check and see if they had options. We went to Canadian Tire, we went to Costco, and we even went to Kent and they were either whack, they were ugly or expensive for what we needed. We didn't even think about going the custom route because uh, the word custom just means that you're spending a premium and every like and all the prices are going to go up. So we didn't even think about that. So then after the whole thing, like running around to each store, um, we went back to Ikea and just to see if everything was online. We even called somebody in Calgary who takes care of inventory for ikea my dear friend trang who has been a lifer at ikea and she couldn't even pull strings for us shout out to you so we're like okay you know what forget it we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start looking into maybe getting a custom job done um so i went online and i came across this one company called tailored living now, Tailored Living is actually a franchise, but they do have one here in the Moncton area. They're actually ba based in Dieppe. 
and uh, you know I hit them up on their website and they got back to me within like a month I know that you guys think it's a little long it is but you do have to understand that there's a lot of businesses that are super busy right now because they might be the only player in the in the game okay so I was actually just happy that they called back um, so Victor and I had a phone call he then came over um, he took a bunch of measurements he uh, talked us through the whole process and then uh, a week later we actually got a initial design from him and uh, and that was back in October he did mention that the uh, the install could take about a month and a half to two months just because they are so busy right now and I get it I get it like you know if people aren't able to uh, come up with these custom solutions on their own they're just gonna call a business to do it and that's actually a smart way to do uh, to go if you're not a handy person pay someone else to do it for you I don't have the luxury of time and my time is more valuable elsewhere right not trying to figure out how I'm gonna get a closet into this space um, you know even just thinking about that kind of stresses me out so pay professionals to do it they can do it in faster time, probably gonna be a lot cheaper uh, than what I would uh, come up with, and they would actually finish the job. I would probably give up after a weekend and uh, call it quits. Honestly, I'm being flat out with you. Anyway, uh, yesterday, Victor and his crew, they rolled by the house. Um, they got there like around nine o'clock and they were out by one. So they did a full custom closet job like it let in like five hours that's that's crazy uh, we are very happy with the result like if you guys don't have time to do any sort of build um, you know definitely call these guys they're they're so good to work with they're very easy and actually in terms of price they were just like a couple hundred dollars more than what we were actually going to spend on a pax wardrobe so honestly I thought that was worth it because you know, putting a PAX wardrobe together, not even just a wardrobe, but a whole closet system, that would have probably taken us day and a half, two days. And then if we were gonna go the, uh, you know, the module route with whatever closet systems that Costco or, or Home Depot have, um, it would have just taken me forever to try and figure out. And I don't have all the tools. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, just wanted to do a quick uh, video on uh, on what we did with the house. Um, hope you guys have a great Christmas or holiday and have a safe new year. Don't drink and drive. Um, for those in the Moncton area, I will be DJing uh, a New Year's party in downtown called Back in the Day. Uh, tickets are available online in advance for $10 or 15 at the door. I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you for everything this year. It's been a wild ride, um, whether it be on social media, on YouTube or whatever. And uh, I swear we're all gonna kick some ass in 2022. Peace.